Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you. And I have spent just a few glorious days up on the mountain in meditation with my good, with my God. And I got a message for you and I want to share it with you. And it's about frequency. It's about waves. And it will completely change your life and the world around you. So please stay with me as we go through this. As I was up there, and I was away from all man-made sound, I was away from man-made uh, waves. As you know, if you live in any town or city, there are towers all around you that emit microwaves, okay? And those are frequencies. And that can sometimes, uh, when we're trying to go, into meditation and silence our minds there's still that vibration going um, sometimes you have to separate yourself from all these man-made frequencies put away the cell phone put away the computer turn off the TV and get away and hear the vibration of the universe and that's exactly what I did I got away uh, where there was no man-made sound and I sat there in meditation I closed my eyes and I could start to hear the hum of the universe everything emits a frequency everything is every form you see is vibrating at a frequency and you can tune into that and hear that and then just as a singer learning to sing you can match that tone for instance if you uh, have done any singing you know you play a certain tone and then you match it with your voice if you're sharp or if you're flat you know by the way it makes you feel and the way it makes other feel around you they'll be like please stop singing because it just it's uncomfortable and that's how it is when we are not vibrating in alignment. We are uncomfortable. We make others around us uncomfortable. We must come into harmony, okay, into alignment with the tone. And as I was up there on the mountain, and I could hear the hum of the universe. And so I started trying to match that tone and hold that. And then as I did that, I started thinking about a spiritual tone the tone of God, of good. As I taught you, good and God are the same thing. So I wanted to uh, stretch out and match the tone of God, of love, of peace, of joy. And when you go into a meditation like that, you cannot use your senses. And I could sense uh, like light coming out of me almost like a hand reaching to feel the tone of love of peace of God and feeling that vibration and matching that vibration and holding that vibration and I'll tell you what it changes everything it changes the way you think the way you feel it changes your very DNA it changes who you are it changes what you can do and I want to teach that to you because it's important that we change the frequency of this world and it is happening in the prophecy that God gave me while I was in this time of meditation he showed me that the morning star has already come and that is Jesus and now this is the time of the dawn and then soon coming after is the time when everyone will live in the full sun of the government of God, of good spirit, of love, of peace, of joy, of higher consciousness. When the evil spirit and the dark system and hate and war and killing and disease will be removed, praise God. So if you want to learn more about that, please stay with me. I'm going to do a little teaching, and then we're going to do a meditation of alignment of our frequency. There's a couple ideas I want to share with you before we go into the alignment with the higher frequencies, uh, just so you have an understanding. 
and I want you to think of it as like a radio station. If it's always playing the same station and your dial is set to that same station, whatever it's playing that's going to be your reality you might not realize there are other stations that you can just tune to a different frequency and get a different result and many people don't know how to tune and receive that information there's information coming all the time from good spirit as i've taught you before there's two systems there's the good spirit there's the evil spirit there's a system of light and the system of darkness and you can choose which one you want to be in and which one you hold is what you will create in your world you will create what you vibrate so as a prophet I can receive those messages I've learned just to tune my dial and then share this information with you and the wonderful thing that happens as I share this information with you it awaken something inside of you a remembrance and uh, the truth see the dark system the reason it's called the dark system because they want to keep you in the dark they want to keep you uninformed and if they can't do that at least misinformed and try to bring in confusion but the light comes in is the truth and when the light is there the darkness just disappears you know if you think something's like if someone came up and said that one of your loved ones is dead and they're lying to you and then your loved one walks in the room and you see the truth the light with your own eyes the truth the lie just disappears they can't fool you anymore and that's my job as a prophet to present the light the truth and then the darkness the lie just disappears it's not a big war it's actually the same as walking in a dark room flipping on a light switch and the darkness just disappears we are the stronger power and so i want to teach you now how to come into that stronger power because sometimes when you're living uh in that dark system you feel helpless you feel powerless and you are not and i want to awaken in you how powerful you are as a child of light and how when you are vibrating light you are vibrating love you are vibrating health you are vibrating peace you are vibrating joy and all those other evil attributes must go it's a law of the universe and so i'm going to teach you to hold those high vibrations and we're going to do it in steps okay step one now i really i really need you to focus with me for just a minute okay just give me your attention for a minute and see this what energy am i ask yourself what energy am i and i want to share uh something with you real quick i won't go too far into it because i know many of you that follow me already know these studies but it's the droplet of water and the frequency put into it okay so they took a distilled jar of water and they spoke love into it and it made a beautiful pattern they took another jar of distilled water and they spoke hate into it and it made an ugly pattern okay look at yourself now what patterns are you making around you and you'll know what energy you are when you speak into your children are you telling them you love them that they have a great future that they're going to be something great are you going to speak into them ugly words that they're nothing that they're a failure that they're not going to be anything so you need to look at yourself what energy are you vibrating and what are you creating around you it don't matter what religion you call yourself or what tradition you come from what energy are you are you love or are you hate are you peace or are you discord when you walk into a room when you come home from work do you bring into your family and your home peace and joy and kindness are they all oh no dad's home you know do you bring in stress wherever you go are you bringing good or are you bringing evil and that's what you need to decide because that's what side you're going to be on. You're either going to be on the good side, God's side, light, or you're going to be on the evil spirit side. Okay, God is life, love, peace, joy, kindness. The evil spirit is war, killing, murder. Let's look at this a little deeper. Do you spray poisons around your house? Poisons are of the evil spirit. They are of the dark system. They are created to destroy and to kill. 
When you see a spider in your house, do you stomp it or do you put it in a cup and take it outside? Are you eating animals? Are you killing animals to feed off of them when there's plenty of good food sources the Good Spirit gave us to eat with protein and vitamins and all that we need to keep this form up? That is murder. Okay, that is of the evil spirit to kill, to poison. If you are doing those things, you are on the dark system side. And let me tell you something, this is the time to get it right in time, space, continuum. That decides what energy you go to. Okay, when you leave this time, space of free will, if you are holding the vibration of good, you will go to the good energy. If you are hating, killing, being of the dark system, you will go to the dark system. It is that simple. It's a choice right now that you need to decide. Some people like the dark system. Some people like perversion. Some people like fighting and killing and war. Okay? That's their thing. And guess what? Good news for them. They get to live with it for eternity. But if that ain't you, if you like to have peace in your home, in your life, if you like love, if you want kindness towards man and animal, if you want to see an earth that is full of people loving their neighbor and wanting the best for each other, and a world that is full of peace and good and God, and that God is our government, the highest truth is our government, Okay, then listen up because I've got more for you with the meditation coming up. Those of you that choose the evil spirit, you can turn this off right now. This isn't for you. This is for people that want good, that want God, that want life, that want peace, that something in them cries out for more. They know inside there's more for them, that there's more good out there and they want it and it is available to you. It's by coming into the vibration of God. All right, my friends, I'm going to ask you to do something if you're still with me. I want you to share this. If you, well, let me put it this way. If you first choose, you know, I'm going to go a totally different route. Okay, let me do this. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm not going to turn it off and start over. I'm just going to take a different route here. I, I've asked previously for a 21-day detox. I'm going to ask for a one-day detox detox. I'm going to ask you for one day to hold the vibration of good of God. Anyone should be able to make that choice, make that decision. I'm going to ask you for one day to be love, to be loving to your spouse, to be loving to your children, to be loving to your friends, to be loving to people at work, to be loving to people that you come in contact for one day, to be peaceful, to be kind, no matter what's going on around you, you're going to hold that vibration of love, of peace, of kindness, of joy. You'll put a smile on your face when you go out and you'll shake someone's hand and give them a compliment. And for one day, you will hold the vibration of God. For one day, you will not spray chemicals and poison around your home. For one day, you will not eat meat you will have a vegetarian diet. For one day you will hold the Christ mind of being one with the highest principle of good, the highest truth. So I'm going to ask you to do that. And secondly, I'm going to ask you that if you do the meditation after this teaching, that you commit to share it with one person. Okay, that's what I ask in return for giving you this meditation, that you share it with one person. And then that one person that hears this and if they decide to do the meditation, they share it with one person and so on. And then I want you to leave in the comments of the changes going on in your world by holding the high vibration of truth and God so that others can see it and build their faith. And we will change this world one mind, one soul at a time. All right. I love you guys and I hope you enjoy this meditation. Be blessed. Please lie down and close your eyes and start taking long, deep breaths. Breathe in to a count of one, two, three, four, and exhale one, two, three, four. 
before. Feel the vibration of the music. Feel the vibration of my words. Feel the vibration of my intent. Feel the vibration of God. This frequency brings you higher. I see and know all. I remember all. I am light. I am a being of light. I am love. I am peace. Take a moment now and focus on your breath. See it as it fills your lungs and your chest expands and see it release. Envision breathing in light and exhale darkness. Inhale light and exhale darkness. And as you do this, you become light. Feel how free that makes you feel. How light can go anywhere and how powerful you are. I am light. I am life. I am love. I am powerful and I am free. Fill me, Spirit of Light. Fill every cell with light, with life, with love. Frequency 
has risen.
truth empower me. Spirit of truth guide me.
with life, with love. I am the child of light. I am light and evermore shall be.